Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll show you the support opposite of your written condition so you get to see how um, you can utilize this functionality to save time. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag over a drop down. So let's get a, hmm, <laughs> let's get a drop down. And in this drop down, what I'm going to do is I want to set some static values. So A, A, B, and B, and then C, and C, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a input field. So let's uh, let's get like a text field here, and then this is good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a condition, and condition is going to be my current field drop down must equals a when it does equal a. Go ahead and basically disable my text box. Very, very easy. All right. So what we're saying is if the Drop down equals A, disable the text field. So right now it's empty, and I can put a cursor in there and do whatever I want. But the moment I choose A, it's disabled. Now the funny thing is if I select B, it's still disabled. If I select C, it's still disabled. Now sometimes you may want A to be disabled, but B and C not to be disabled. So what you would, look, what you would think of is, okay, well I guess I just need to write two more queries, right? There's actually a simpler way of achieving this. All you need to do is check support opposite. And now, have a look at the behavior. So if I click preview, and I choose A, it's disabled. But if I choose B, it's enabled. I can now type stuff in there. If I choose C, I can still type stuff in there. But if I now choose A, it's disabled. I can't do anything to this text other than just click on it. So really, really good example here for, um, for enable and disable. Let me show you another one. So let's get a button. Let's put this button over here. And then on this one, we'll write a condition again. So we use the existing condition, which is current field equals A. I want my button to be hidden like this. So understandable, fine. Click preview. Now if I select A, it's hidden, but if I select B, it's not hidden because of the support opposite. All right, so if I uncheck it, let me show you. So obviously for A, this is going to work fine, but even for B and C, it's still hidden. But sometimes I want B and C to show, but A only hidden. So rather than, again, writing three conditions, I just do support opposite, like this. And now if I click preview, you will find for A, it's hidden, but as soon as I select B, it's not. As soon as I select C, it's not. And that's where support opposite comes in super handy and saves you writing multiple conditions for absolutely no reason when you can achieve that with one checkbox. And, uh, and that's support opposite for you. You can use it for enable, disable, show and hide, mandatory, non-mandatory, and many more that we'll add in the future.